Welcome to Beauty Unlocks October Specials, where I'll be bringing you all things macabre, gruesome, and gory. <laughs> Are you ready? Welcome to the end. Thank you for joining us. I'm actually surprised that you made it this far. Shh. Listen. Do you hear that? Do you? They're all around us. The voices of all of those that walked before us. Those that came before us. Those that warned us. It's both comforting and chilling that we'll be joining them soon enough. But before we do, let me tell you this. Shadows of a thousand years rise again unseen. Voices whisper in the trees tonight. It's Halloween. And what a night it is. Enjoy our last two tales. <laughs> Florida woman loses nipples, nearly dies after botched plastic surgery abroad. Stay tuned for more. A Florida woman who sought a tummy tuck, breast reduction, and butt lift from a surgeon in Columbia back in May said she has since lost her nipples and been hospitalized with infections stemming from the botched procedures, which nearly killed her. I am extremely embarrassed and ashamed of the decisions I've made, Lindsay Colosimo, who was only dismissed by her U.S. doctors earlier this month. She says, I feel like a monster, to be honest. Colosimo, who said before surgery she wouldn't wear a bikini, said two of her friends went to the same clinic in Colombia and were happy with the results. I had a tummy tuck in the U.S. in 2012 and I wasn't happy with it and wanted it revised with a bum lift. When I got to the clinic, I was advised on a breast reduction and lift too, something I have always wanted, but it wasn't my priority. She said she went against her gut and went ahead with all three because you trust the professionals. But when she woke from the surgery, she immediately began vomiting, and her doctor was nowhere to be found. It continued for a few days, and I could see a black spot under my bandage. But I was told it was dried blood and not to worry by medics. I knew in my heart it wasn't, as I was getting worse by the day. Eventually, I saw what was under the bandage, and 30% of my nipple was black. At that point, Colosimo began expressing her concerns to her sister back in the U.S., who allegedly showed a doctor. He reportedly told her the nipple looked like necrosis. But back in Colombia, Colosimo said her doctor was telling her over a messaging app that her symptoms were fine and that the infection would go away. She claimed she was being visited by a nurse in a hotel where she was supposed to be recovering but was leaking out of her wounds. I had wounds on my breasts as the implant pocket wasn't big enough. It's like the incision was made for a C cup and double D was shoved in, she said. My skin started breaking open. It was terrifying to see. I had a fever and continued to show signs of infections and encouraged to walk around, whereas people are told to rest after surgery. She said despite the circumstances, she ignored the red flags like a nurse using massage oil to push the infection out of her wounds because she just wanted to feel better. When she got back to the U.S., she went straight to the hospital where she was diagnosed with an E. coli infection in her breast and told she needed more surgery to fix her stomach. She needed a wound vax and her bandages had to be changed by doctors daily. The infection almost cost me my life. I developed cellulitis and I am still in constant pain at the incision point. I was seeking perfection, but now I look back and realize I was good enough. 
Colosimo is not the first person to fall victim to medical tourism, as many others continue to travel abroad in search of cheaper cosmetic surgery, despite many warnings from health officials and plastic surgeons. Every surgery, including cosmetic surgery, has some risks involved, according to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. These risks may increase during vacation-related plastic surgery. The ASPS also warns that traveling on long flights after surgery can increase the potential risk of pulmonary embolism and blood clots. There are also no U.S. laws that protect the patients or mandate that the physicians abroad be specifically qualified to perform the procedures outside the U.S. I thought I would feel liberated after, but I feel ashamed, Colosimo said. I hope you're ready for our second tale. Just a heads up, listener discretion is advised. Vampire sex cult leader who had girlfriend Lauren Tinder date to strangle enjoyed torturing and killing victims. Stay tuned for more. A trial began Friday in Dawson County, Nebraska against a woman accused of luring a Tinder date to her death. Bailey Boswell, 26, is accused of conspiring for weeks with her boyfriend, Aubrey Trail, 52, to Lauren Cindy Loof, 24. Boswell is accused of enticing Loof to meet up for dates after meeting her on Tinder. Boswell is currently on trial for first-degree murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and improper disposal of human remains. Trail's trial concluded last year. He slit his own throat while in court after hearing the verdict and was rushed to the hospital. He survived after screaming, Bailey is innocent during his trial. In December, Trail will find out whether he'll spend life behind bars or get the death penalty. During opening statements for Boswell's trial, Assistant Attorney General Sandra Allen said that three women were prepared to testify about Trail's twisted obsession with torture and murder, and how he claimed himself to be a vampire with numerous witches who gained power by killing people. They will tell you that Boswell got off sexually talking about those kinds of things, Ellen said. Some of these people are just pieces of the puzzle, and they might not make sense when you hear them individually. According to the prosecution, the three women scheduled to testify will explain how both Boswell and Trail had rules set forth for them, including discussions about torture and sex. No clothes allowed to be worn in their apartment, wearing dog collars, drinking from a dog bowl, and group sex participation. Oh my! One of the women who testified at Trail's trial said she was told to call Trail Daddy and refer to Boswell as Queen Witch. Loof disappeared on November 15, 2017, during a second date with Boswell. After the first date, Loof told friends she had found her dream girl. Boswell previously said she spent the first date with Loof while they drove around Lincoln, smoked weed, and had a great time. The following day, the pair went on the second date. After Lou failed to show up for work at a hardware goods store, her mother called police, which eventually led investigators to Boswell and Trail. Trail initially denied harming Lou, claiming that he was a thief but would never harm a woman. After collecting evidence during the investigation, authorities arrested the pair on November 30th, 2017. Trail ended up confessing that he strangled Lou with an extension cord, then buried her body with the help of Boswell. Her body parts had been cut up with a fine-toothed saw. <coughs> Loof was eventually found on a rural road in central Nebraska. Her body parts were chopped up and placed in several different trash bags. Trail later told the Lincoln Star that Loof's death was an accident that happened while holding an object inside the victim's mouth, unintentionally killing her during fantasy sexual role-playing. Trail reportedly said he never contacted police since he didn't think anyone would believe him, given his alternative lifestyle. Bailey Boswell's attorney, Todd Lancaster, told the jurors that the case against Boswell was weak, adding that everyone should look closely at the evidence. Remember, when you start getting emotional, when you start getting upset about this, think about why the state's giving you that evidence, Lancaster said. It's because their case is weak and they want to rile your emotions up. Allen argued that cell phone footage placed the pair in the area of the crime scene and store receipts showed they purchased incriminating items. Allen added that the pair bought duct tape, a saw, pots and pans, and trash bags before Boswell's November 15th date with Loof. Boswell will possibly face the death sentence if convicted. 
I hope you enjoyed our last two tales. It's time for us to go. But don't worry, we'll be back sooner than you think. <laughs>